just got in the stand. It's uh, about 6.20. Um, sun's starting to come up, so uh, we're just going to sit tight for a while. We're shooting at Dota today. Um, first year I see him shooting it. I'm not messing around. So I'll check in with you in a little. Keep you posted. It's 8.25. I just had an epic battle with a couple of doe. I fired three times, two different deer. This last shot, I think I hit it. I'm not sure. Um, it's been about five minutes. I was getting nervous. I was here and I made a decision to shoot. I think I made a good shot on it, but I'm not sure. It was about 75 yards away. We're gonna wait here for a little while. It's gonna be tough for me to figure out where I hit it. There's a lot of rocks and it could make tracking difficult, but the good news is if it's down, it's down within 100 yards of me. Uh, and then it doesn't matter, buck, doe, whatever, your, you know, your nerves are always rattled. So, we're gonna chill for a while here and then we're gonna go check it out. Walking around for about half an hour. I thought I had to figure out what happened. But I had to walk back to my spot where I shot and look up again. And I came up and marked it with a hat. And I found a bullet hole in the tree. And when I was at my spot, aiming, I didn't think there was any way that I would hit that tree. Well, I think the bullet passed through and I came back up with that mentality and uh, I found some hair. Well, once I found the hair, I realized the hair is in front of the bullet. Um, so it passed through and hit the tree. At least that's what I'm assuming. And then I started seeing some drops of blood Looks like a decent hit. Oh. So we're gonna keep following the blood path, see what happens. Finally found it. Oh. Looks like a little button buck. I mean, it's nothing to get too wild about, but uh, certainly illegal. Um, didn't bleed a whole lot, but I found it. So we're going to gather up my gear and start cutting this thing. 